you all ready for this? Bum, 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 bum. Hi, welcome back to the Be Drone Style channel. I'm just really excited right now because of a few things. One is this is my fall trends video. I am here to report the news, break down the fall trends for you, get you excited for fall winter styling, always playing dress up. I want you to get your pens out, your paper out, your dream notebook out, your phone, notes app, whatever you use to get your brain brewing right ideas down. I want you ready because we're going to school, school for the fall trends. And the next thing I'm excited about are these crazy fun glasses and these crazy fun glasses and these crazy fun glasses. I have partnered with Jin's Eyewear for today's fall trends video. You guys have been asking about these. I couldn't even help myself. I started wearing them before we did this video together because I'm obsessed. They're basically my fall trend right here. Jin's is the leader in crafting stylish and incredible glasses at accessible prices. I have forever searched for really unique eyeglasses and until I found Jin's I had not found such an incredible selection. They have over 1800 unique pairs of glasses on their website. This is the thing you do want to try on. You want to see if glasses are going to look good on you and they have just launched their virtual try-on tool. I was able to go on their website, take a selfie of your face, it scans your face. It actually tells you the shape of your face. I'm an oval shape. You get to try on the 1800 pairs of glasses right there in the comfort of your home. If you're like me, you like to always play dress up, so you like different variety, and that's what I really loved was that I could try on multiple pairs of glasses because I wanna switch it up. I wanna be able to wear different glasses for different occasions. So I love that it really caters to someone who appreciates style, making sure that the glasses actually look good on your face. And the virtual try-on tool makes your shopping experience so quick and so convenient. You can do it easily without an app. You just go straight to their website, either on your phone or on your laptop. You record a 30 second selfie and you're done. And what's really nice too is you can return the glasses in 30 days with no hassle. So if you do get them and they don't end up working out, you can return them. You all have been asking about these a lot, so I am so excited to tell you that you can get these or any of the styles on the Jin's website for $15 off. Just click the link down in my description and use the code BJONESSTYLE15 to get that $15 off. And if you get some of these glasses, I wanna see them. Let's be the crazy glasses crew and rock these babies all the time. Are y'all ready? Are you ready for the fall trends? I'm gonna do it kind of like I've done in the past, but also with a little bit of a new twist. I'm not gonna do every trend. I'm really just gonna pick the trends that I personally am loving, that I also feel like are easier to find in the thrift or vintage stores. And I'm gonna add a little bit of something new. I'm just gonna add like quick little things that I noticed when it came to styling that aren't necessarily a big trend, but just something to think about when you're getting dressed and a lot of this stuff is stuff that you probably already have in your closet. Let's do this. Let's jump into the trends and let's bring on the inspiration. I'm going to start with five main big trends that I'm loving. First trend, and I actually feel like this has been around since spring, so some of these spring pieces can go into fall, is large, big, colors, color details. I saw a lot of more of that pilgrim collar, the really oversized collar. And you can see right here in this outfit that I wore, I have that peach top that has this scalloped amazing collar. But this is also still the disco collar. This is colors with ruffle details, almost doily shaped collars. Just any kind of collar that says, look at me, I have a large collar on. The second trend is leather. Again, and I feel like this has already started in the spring. We were talking about colorful leather and now it's 
still there, colorful leather, and also just lots of leather head to toe leather, lots of leather separate. So taking a colorful leather piece with more of a, you know, classic leather piece, even throwing on a leather coat. So do not be afraid to find as much leather as possible and just pile it on. I love the monochromatic leather and I also love this kind of almost color blocking leather. Third trend that I wanted to talk about is all over knit. And when I say knit, of course it's, you know, knit big chunky sweaters like I'm wearing right now, or it could be just even an all over knit dress. More of that thin ribbed knitting, knit dresses, look for knit skirts with of course a knit sweater and throw it all on. Also, I'm loving like the knit pant. You guys haven't seen it yet, but I went to the flea market with a net, which you will see next week. And I found these really great knit pants with like a red stripe woven through it. And can we just talk about this image right here? I want this. I want this dress. It's like a massive, huge sweater as a dress. I will be on the lookout for something like this out there. Every fall we see plaid for sure. So I'm all about the plaid this fall, but this one is a little bit different. It's more of a colorful checkered plaid that we saw a lot of. So very fun, punchy colors in a checkered print. Yellow checks, red checks, green checks, also like piles of checkered prints, so head to toe checkered. And I've been all about color in the summer and even spring. So it's, I think this is a great way to kind of bring that wear happy, fun, colorful attitude into fall with colorful checkered prints. And I feel like this fifth trend is one that you guys have already heard me talk about a lot and I've already been wearing it and I'm wearing it right now. A little bit of a different version is the knit vest. That is a huge trend this fall. I love this because you can totally wear it traditionally like very preppy like Dior did right here or you can kind of go a little more menswear style and do like a really oversized knit vest you know over a collared shirt. I really think it's so much fun because it's not just stuck in like a preppy trend. It's really the trend of the knit vest and then take that into all of the different trends. Okay and then I just wanted to talk about a few of the details that I'm seeing and I'm loving. One of those things that I'm really loving is just this idea of lots of browns, like lots of different shades of brown, chocolate browns, one with camel, head to toe brown. I also love the idea of like chocolate brown popped with color. Something else that's kind of carrying, I feel like from summer into fall is lots of bold colors being worn together. And really this could be described as color blocking. Anything in solid bold colors being worn together. A styling thing that I've noticed, and I feel like, again, this has been something that's been popping up, but I'm loving it for fall, is the idea of tucking your pants into boots. And even just recently, Karen from Karen Britchick, she rocked this look and I was like, yes, I love it so much. And since we are talking about boots, chunky, boots are huge for fall. These are almost like having the sneaker or the sandal in the summer, throwing that on with everything. That's the idea of the chunky boot this fall. A little mini thing that I love that I saw on the runway of Dior is they are styling with ties, menswear ties. Oh, I think that could be so fun to play with, like pull out a tie, tuck it into some high waist denim, throw on a knit vest and throw on a blazer. I am also always loving the idea of belting things. And we saw a lot of that this fall, belting blazers, belting even more thick jackets for the winter. So pull out those belts and you know I love a belt and belt everything. And then I'm also loving what I'm seeing with just like the athletic wear being popped in to styling again with that idea of like the juxtaposition of something. So like a ball cap, worn with the dress. These are the trends that I'm loving. These are the trends that I'm gonna be looking for and you guys will hear me reference them a lot throughout this season. Now, I hope that got your brain buzzing. Maybe you had out your little notebook and you wrote some different ideas down and I am going to create a Pinterest page that's going to be all of these trends. So that way I will just put that link down below. You can click it. Any of the images you saw in today's video will be there and then you can find all the sources for where they came from. And now, the very fun part. We're gonna head off and see if I can find any of these things. And I think we should go.
Here we go. I'm looking for fall. I will let you know I changed into a t-shirt under this sweater because it's, it's hot. For the knit trend, I found two pieces. Also, this one touches on the polo. This is a vintage purpley long knit sweater. This is so perfect a red knit dress that is so amazing. I love it also is that bold color trend. I love this dress. This is a rare thing. I love finding vintage, but finding a designer item in a thrift store is pretty amazing. And this dress is so perfect for fall. It hits right into that, all the browns. This incredible dress. This is by a Swedish designer called Bro. I have no idea how to say it. Broda Beer. But I recognized the tag when I saw it and also recognized the style, the design quality, the fabric. <gasps> I'm so excited about this. This is just a dress I found that's beautiful. But it's definitely a winter floral. Look at this vintage dress I just found. Uh, okay, I've hit the knit jackpot. This one's great because it's very California friendly. It's short sleeve. I really like the squares of checkered on it. This is a great old 80s sweater. I love that it's that really fun minty green and this could be really fun for lots of color mixing this fall. And then this is H&M, which I don't usually buy in the thrift store as much, but I have a sweater very similar from them that I love and I love this color. These come in really handy sometimes when you just want like a punchy color and you just want to throw over a cozy sweater. And I like the more crop shape of it and the really dramatic sleeves and this color is really what's selling me. And then this is so amazing. The gold striped British Vogue USA sweater. Very cool, it's very oversized, I love that. I found another crazy designer piece. Marnie. So amazing. And look at this mint green jumpsuit. Ah! This found the cutest perfect pants. Green for the bold color mixing, even that green sweater. Popping into skirts, and I found this, which is totally that colored checkered. Print. It even has a little bit of the vibe of um, Dior's runway show. Found a great shirt for the collar trend. And purple blouse that will be amazing for all the bold color styling. My heart is getting so full. Let me just do a little rundown. Really cute little short sleeve green sweater. Amazing cardigan. This pearl details at the top, it's like super fuzzy. Okay, this sweater is crazy, but I like it. Like a doily, talk about a collar detail. Right here, baby. It in a huge purple cardigan. I usually don't like zippers in the front of things, but this is just such a cool cardigan, I had to grab it. Totally that checker print that's really big. I love this old color yellow cardigan. Got the sweater vest. Disco collar in this blouse. This vintage like polo -y sweater, super bright orange, so fun. And look at these two turtlenecks, vintage. What? <laughs> Yellow. Both vintage like 1960s turtlenecks. I have so much. I don't know what to do with all of it. I'm gonna weed things out and then I'll show you guys the things that I'm thinking about. I'm going to break down the things I think I'm gonna get. So I'm gonna get the Marnie dress. Also this road Rota beer dress. So amazing. I'm so excited to do this for fall. I had so many amazing sweaters I had to pick and I decided for sure to get this one. It's very soft and I really just love 
the shape and the color. I love this just oversized purple cardigan. I feel like this will be really cute doing knit on knit with this and also color mixing. I'm for sure getting both of these turtlenecks. I immediately put them in my yes pile because I love a turtleneck and the fact that they're such bold colors and print. Get this because it's kind of like the cottage core trend that's going on right now and it's got the dagger collar. Also gonna get this. I love that it's just a really bold purple and I love um, oversized button downs right now for styling. So I think this will be really great. This is maybe the hero piece. <laughs> Oh my god, the craziest, most fun sweater ever and the most dramatic look at me collar ever. So I'm gonna get this. I feel like it's great because it's more of a champagne color and I have a lot of white blouses and I just love the ruffle detail down the front but then also there on the sleeves. These pants are such a bind. The, fun, the fact that I found like a great Kelly Green pair of trouser pants with a little bit of 70s flair to them is amazing. It's very itchy feeling though, but I don't know if I can, I don't know. This is gonna be my I don't know piece until I get to the counter. Some of these are the cast offs. Other ones got taken away, but you know, so pretty, but I just feel like I had so many other things. This sweater just had some pilling on it. This again, itchy. This is so itchy too. And the zipper was broken. This turned out to be such an insane Lega day at the thrift store. I'll show you my little pile here. Isn't this always fun when you have your pile of goodies that you're taking home after you've weeded everything out? Was that my best thrifting day ever? I feel like it was. You guys have to let me know in the comments if you think that might have been one of my best because it felt pretty good. But I feel very prepared for fall with all of those finds and it was so much fun to kind of look for the trends. Of course, I did not find all of them and I will just keep going through the rest of this season, you know, with those in mind. But I definitely got a big jump start for sure. notes that you wrote down, 
get out there, start finding the things, get in your closet, start playing dress up, just even with the stuff you already have. And if you wanna keep your eye out for new things, this will hopefully get you off and running. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. I have new videos every single Thursday. And last and final, always play dress up and I'll see you guys later. Bye!